Morning world and welcome to Monday the 13th of July. So, Martin and our new guy, if you guessed who it is yet, have gone to Gloucester to do a bit of tree work. It was a job that only really needed two, two chaps. So Matthew volunteered, when well, no, I actually told him that he was staying, to stay here and do a little job on the farm and help me out. Uh, so we'll go see what he's doing and I'll also show you this. This paddock was going to be grazed by the cattle until I was told a day or so back that apparently I'm hosting a birthday party for my um, granddaughter. And there's not really enough room out there and I can't really have kids running around in cow stuff. So I had to mow it yesterday, but it hasn't come up too bad. And that bit I mowed a bit, not so short. So anyway, today we are tugging ragwort. Go on, see him off. <laughs> you don't look very scary, does it, eh? I say you see it off and she wags her tail. Even no. Oh, well, she saw your legs from over there and it was like... Oh, it's Matthew. So. Is it ragwort? It's not a true ragwort, but I don't mind if you dig it up. No, I didn't say it. kind of so, looked like it. Yeah, it's not a, a true ragwort it will have a purple stem. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I tend to get rid of them as well anyway, so... You've already done this though, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. You're a little bit carried away down there. That end, there's nothing yellow. Where? Down that end. Down the bottom there? Yeah. Right. Because we were, we were going through these. I was like, not sure that's right. And then I actually found a proper bit of ragwort. I was like, ah, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you knew what a ragwort was. Yeah, I did. But yeah. But it's not everything with a yellow flower. No. All oh, right, so that, that's why your bags are for support, is it? Or that's you... one of them, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you could tell Ragwood because it stinks. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were here for a long time. Yeah, that's not. Ragwood doesn't have a, a prickly stem. Okay. Did you? Yeah. Did you give yourself a stiff talking to? You stupid boy, as Mr. <laughs> Mannering would say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, compared to. Um, down there, this is only a couple here. Yeah. So yeah, you'll be busy down there. Uh, those, actually, with no flower heads on, you could probably just leave them, dig them up and just leave them there, because yeah. they're not true rags. Right. Um, it's like a lot of that there. We'll probably actually empty those bags. Yeah, well, out. the one with the blue one hasn't got any in. Oh, wasn't it? Nope. Yeah, well, we just empty that, rot that down, because it's only, we need to burn a ragwort, we don't want the seed from that, but, uh, all right. <laughs> well, you got to say 10 out of 10 for effort. Yeah. Yeah, you know, certainly weren't shirking the duty. <laughs> oh, these, this was like my legs. Right, you can, you can go with a bit of mulch there. I just wander at the top there because I got a funny feeling there's one right up there. Yeah. So I'll just I'll go and grab that one a minute and then I'll come back down. Well there's a rabbit went through there just now, so she's probably on the smell of it. Yeah, yeah this is the problem when you pull them up, you snap the end off, and then the living thing grows back again next year. That's it. 
a purple stem, stem gives it away and the stink. They really do um I think that mower's a bit overkill for that job really. Just a tap. Yeah. Smack him off on the fork or the post or ground or I think I pulled most of these out of here. There is one couple outside the fence over there, yeah. but the neck is on. I ain't, um, there's a couple there I pulled as well. They can go back in the bag. Right, I think that's it from up here. Have you got another one? Yeah. Well done. Ah, that's actually another one here as well. They're hard to spot amongst all the rest of the red yellow flowers, but here he is. I thought you'd pick them up. Hey? I thought you'd get rid of them all. Yeah, well, that's it. It's, it's, when I first took this land on, I must have pulled out of here hundreds. Yeah. In the first year, I must have pulled hundreds. Well, the yeah. thing is, they'll, they can root, and sometimes it can take a couple of years yeah. before they actually come up. And the first year is like a little tiny rosette. Hmm. It takes three or four years to mature to get to a big plant. So I reckon five years it'd take me to clear this. Yeah. So. No, and as rosettes, the sheep can eat them. Yeah. But I just don't want them out here, so. The only good thing about them is they're supporting the cinnabar moth. And that's it. Sorry, the plants go in a paper bag. Flowers at the bottom, so if they do actually turn into seeds, once they sort of, oh, that stinks, doesn't it? It doesn't go anywhere. We'll let that desiccate for a couple of weeks. Burn it. Burn it. Right, if you want to go on down. Yeah. Um, I'll get the gate and I will walk. I'll walk down there. What are you eating? I saw that. What was that? You had a mouthful of something. What was she eating? Probably a bloody frog or something. So. Hey. I don't want any lazy dog. Oh, uh, don't want to blink him or walk if you can ride. Soon abandoned me. Did you notice that? How quickly she abandoned me? Keep going, you're alright. dog. <laughs> well, you like on the okay. This is where I get bounced off. Two o'clock. Not much suspension this trainer. Yeah, through there. Yeah, but not through the old bunker. Yeah. Roughly by that blue um, sign down there. Oh, 
do nicely. Yeah, wow. So there's, there's actually two plants in there we don't want. Yeah. It's the yellow flowering ones and these chaps. But these, as far as I'm concerned, you can just knock them off. Yeah. This is hemlock. So uh, I don't want to touch that one with bare hand because I know it's going to jab me. Screwdriver in here somewhere. Mm, not much it. There you go. So that fence is on. So what I would do, don't bother taking bags in there. No. Um, uh, just go in and pull them out and chuck them over. Yeah. And then bag them up from this side. Oh, Otherwise yeah. it'll just be a... Oh, another one down there. This is where deer jump over the fence. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. B. Oh, there's a cinnabar uh, moth uh, caterpillar on that one. So that's the only downside with doing this is I see. those caterpillars. Hmm. So that produces a little blackened um, or like charcoal black and red moth. So, so what I might do actually is anything with one of those caterpillars on, yeah. um, pinch all the heads off, yeah. borrow the one the caterpillar's on, we'll leave that head. Um, and then, I know it's a bit more work, but then we'll come back in a couple of weeks and um, and take them. So, yeah, because cinnabar moths aren't that common. So, right. So I'm gonna um, probably not come in there. Well, I did think about putting shorts on a minute ago. Yeah. Well, I would have advised against that because when you go in there, there's a lot of um, stingy, horrible things. Stingy and spiky things. Yeah. Yeah. Which is all great for the wildlife, but uh, yeah. So I would have said we'll pile them up in the middle here, let them dry, we'll burn them in here. Mm. But I don't want to risk a fire in there. So it's just as easy. Cheeky little bugger. See, I, I want to pull that, but I know, look, I'll tell you what, if I pull it, I bet the bugger snaps off. Oh, no. Oh, it did! <laughs> right on the end. Right, okay. You can't leave any in there. Yeah. Actually, come up here first. I'll do them last, because they'll be the easy ones. Yeah. I mean, do you want any teasels for Christmas decorations? No, they are. But that's what we used to do. We used to use these for, we used to spray them gold and silver and blue and use them as Christmas decorations mm -hmm. when we were kids. Ow. Spiky. Yeah, <laughs> that was actually. So I walked through yesterday, I never got touched by one. But yeah, if you look down through there, it's a bit yellow. Oh, it is a little bit. Yeah. That's because we cleared it out the other year. Yeah, it is. So we've un unearthed a load of fresh seed. But if we don't do it now, that lot will go to seed. You're all across my neighbour's mowing grass. Yeah. And um, I ate my neighbours doing it to me, yeah. so I won't do it to them. So, so yeah. Uh, you've probably got a couple of hours in there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mate. Sure. Uh, but I have done dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of hours out here. Yeah. So, right. Okay. I'll leave you to it. You and I'll come down later, see you getting on. Um, any problems, give us a shout. Um, and like I said, you know, if you're a loud buzzy noise, it's, you. it's probably me. Yeah. Probably me sat on the deck with a cup of coffee. <laughs> so oh, you yeah. you can call me names if you want. I don't mind. Biscuit. Oh, they really are sharp. Come on. <coughs> so when we took the golf course on, this field especially this top corner where the grass is a bit shorter, was full of ragwort. I've just in this, in this little paddock here, I have pulled hundreds, hundreds of them. And I dare say there's still a few, few out here now, but we have knocked the population properly on the head. Um, I do feel a bit guilty about the cinnabar moths. Um, 
because you know I I don't want to disturb other wildlife, but uh, ragwort can. All right, come here, come here. You got it stuck to you. Come here. There you go. Ragwort can run away. You can have fields of yellow. It's all toxic. It's all poisonous. Um, we just don't want that. So it's easier to stay on top and control it than let it get away and contaminate everybody else as well. Right. My neighbour's got a bit as well, but that fella there is mine. And I don't want to go over that. So I think we're going to have to turn the fence off to get to him. Is that a true ragwort? It's not a, it's not the nasty, nasty one, but I still don't want it. Right, so later on, remember, fence off come down my fork and tug that one. I think that's it for down here, so. Yeah, these, this is my fence line, but my actual boundary goes to the stream down there, so these trees are all ours. Um, we could have taken the trees out and moved the fence line down, but I, I like the trees. Right, okay. I need to come down with the secretaries as well. My electric fence has been getting shorted out left, right, center. I don't know where she gets the energy from. <laughs> Making me dizzy, dog. <laughs> I'm not sure who's after her or me. All right, so I've just been to Yate quoting, and I didn't take biscuit with me. So this is my greeting when I get home. Oh, now you roll over. Hey. You. You. Yes, I know. I know. Come on in. You don't like mushrooms? Oh, really? Oh, really what? Look at the mess you've made on our, my kitchen table. This your stuff. What's that? What's going in there? Your lemon rank pie. Your coffee cake. Marble cake. Your quiche. That's the main one. Shortbread. Because I am actually more savoury than sweet. I know you are. But. That's shortbread, is it? Yeah. Okay. So I've had to make them up. This is the fourth time you're making them and trying to film them. Not as sweet as last time. So a bit sugar Quite on top. Quite biscuity. Mm. Mm. I better try the other just to make sure. Really? I'm not gonna lie, we didn't have any lemon, so I am using the packet mix for the. We didn't have any lemon. That's alright. They're quite good actually. Mm. Green is a good brand. Mm. That's a very good brand for people who aren't too bakey. If you don't, yeah, green. Mm. Green. Yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So for tea, I've got quiche, yeah. followed by lemon round pie, mm -hmm. followed by coffee cake for supper. Inside of a house. No. Yes. These walls are tight, I tell you. No way. No You're already blaming me that I'm making you put on weight. Hey, look, at the end of the day, you put all this stuff in front of me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna not eat it, am I? 
we're on this planet for a very, very short period of time. In the expanse of space and time, a moment, a fraction, a blink. So yeah, you I'm going to spend my time eating. So you might as well spend it doing something you like and enjoying it. And eating is one of my favourite things. I love those things. What's it, a yolk, yolk and white um, separate, is it? Yeah. That's lazy. Can't okay, you just do it in the two shelves, like, you know. A normal person. Like a professional chef, chef would do. Why do we do that when I've got something that makes my hands cleaner? Oh. Is that from my Meringue? How many of those do you need? Two of those. Only two? Yeah. I like meringue. You got to use three. Well, it says two. I'm using two. Well, two in a bit then. I can't exactly put a little bit out. Yeah, it I says could have two. Uh, Oh, okay. Two medium sized eggs. Alright, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Be gone with you, peasant. I'm going there, yeah. I got, I got my own things to do, you know. <laughs> well, seven minutes past twelve, and that's my first cup of coffee in the morning. Um, Matthew's busy down there, still tugging ragwort, as far as I know. Um, I've been out looking at a few tree jobs this morning and I've got some more to look at this afternoon. But I thought while I'm having my cup of coffee, um, the liquid nitrogen fertiliser we put on a week or so back has absolutely definitely made a big difference. Uh, which we can see from here. But I'm kind of also interested to see what it looks like from up there. Well, it's kind of pointless having the tools if you never use them. So, you guys might as well come along for the ride, and we'll have a little flyover. I'm not sure how much battery's in there. I've charged it up a week or so back, but it does tend to drop its charge over over a period of time. So, and I've only got the one battery. So, I'll see what battery life I've got. But we'll probably nip down and buzz Matthew because I told him I would, and then we'll fly over the fields and just just see how they've greened up, I suppose. So, right, enjoy.
so that it gets blown up the tea. Well, it is actually quite windy out here, so. Okay, well. Unfortunately, I only had 20% battery in my iPad. Um, so that kind of limited how long I could fly it for, because the last thing I wanted to do was <laughs> lose my controller. So, uh, there you go. A couple of minutes. Better than nothing. Do you know what? I don't think I've seen Emma and her mother look this happy for probably three months. Such small things can make them smile. And all they've done is go off to get their nails painted. Apparently everything was that simple. Right, well, Biscuit and I are off to Dursley. Uh, to look at a couple of tree jobs. One that I looked at last year, which was a dirty great eucalyptus, another eucalyptus, that the customer wanted reduced. And I did say at the time that where the tree was, it was going to be an ongoing expense. And although I admitted that I am biased, I'm not a big fan of eucalyptus trees in the UK, I did say that probably long term, he would be better taking that tree out and planting something a bit more native. The garden isn't big enough for the tree or where it is. So if he wants something there, he would be better off with something like um, uh, uh, I don't know, a red may tree, you know, hawthorn or um, crab apple or maybe um, a field maple, something like that. So it depends what he wants. Uh, but en route to that, we're going to a little church in the town as well because apparently they've got a dead branch that's overhanging the public right away and they're concerned about that so that's first stop we'll go in there first take a look at that i promise to give them a call this afternoon and if it is actually unsafe um i do have a couple of guys available we could actually go and sort that out for them this afternoon to remove that liability and yeah we'll see so Next stop, Dursley. We'll do our few bits and bobs there, and then we've got to go back past home and another eight, nine miles south, and we're off to Chippewa Green Gate. It's it's an exciting life, but I like it. We're looking for our Hawthorne. Well, there it is. Right, he's not in very good nick. So that stem's dead. That one's not far behind. Yeah. The issue was probably down there. There is some decay in the bottom. I can see. I can see a cavity down there. Okay, decision made. What? <laughs> yeah, no. uh, no, I suppose it's not far away from food time. Is that what you're trying to tell me? We're gonna have to wait half an hour. You gotta go look at another job first. Then I'll take you when you go for food, all right? Right. Yeah. No, you have to wait. Parked on the gimp. What? I have rung my engineer, he's going to have that car in to do this. I made it worse. No, it didn't. It didn't. Yes, no, yes, no.
we'll come back to this in a minute. Shh. 